Today we read Exodus chapter 3, verses 1 to 12. Most of us heard this story for the first time in Sunday school, I imagine, Moses and the burning bush. There are, of course, any number of theories as to what species the bush might have been and how it came to seem to be on fire without being consumed. More interesting, though, I think, is what transpires between God and Moses and why Moses was there in the first place. Our Sunday school lessons probably didn't major on Moses being a fugitive from justice after murdering an Egyptian taskmaster. He left his privileged upbringing in Pharaoh's palace, took refuge in the wilderness and earned to living as a shepherd, marrying his boss's daughter. In common with many other heroes in the Old Testament, it's an inauspicious record. Yet God speaks to him. This is holy ground. Take off your shoes. Like Jacob, generations ago, Moses discovers that God can be encountered in the most surprising places, in the back of beyond. The next surprise was the call to return to Egypt. That would be really insane. But of course, Moses had had a unique childhood and that could, he could relate equally to both Egyptian and Israelite. So that suited him to the task ahead, to lead the Israelites whilst negotiating with Pharaoh. Surprise number three was the response when Moses asked the identity of the being who was speaking to him. Used to the Egyptian gods, he would have expected a proper name. Instead, what he got was a verb, and an enigmatic one at that. I am that I am, or I will be what I will be. I suppose libraries have been written to try to explore the meaning of this. Perhaps it means being itself, or perhaps it means the eternal present. Anyhow, the sacred name of God is revealed to Moses in the wilderness as he hid from justice. Can we take from this some encouragement? When we think we're far from God and have no sense of God's presence, think again. Any place, the most humble, the most ordinary, can be a place of revelation and often is. When we think we've messed up, God does not give up on us. Indeed, God might be hatching a new plan specially designed for our circumstances. So far, so good and cheering. But like Moses, we may well find that that plan contains considerable challenge. In fact, the pattern we see in scripture is that it seems to constitute an impossible task. Thank goodness, God says, I will be with you. And that sacred name, I am, indicates God's constant presence, here and now, with us, in and at all times. Our God is a God of surprises, but also of constant and faithful presence. Take off your shoes, for the place where you are standing is holy ground, wherever you are.